Education Services uses local coach companies to transport schools to and from venues. On arrival at the venue, you should make your way into the facility where staff will guide you towards the changing village. On entering the changing village, you should find a cubicle where you should organise your clothing and equipment. This includes a costume or shorts, your towel, goggles, a swim cap and any money if required for lockers. We recommend your uniform is placed all together inside your bag. Your shoes and towel should not be in the bag. This helps organise your locker best. Your shoes should be put in first, your bag on top and finally your towel, meaning that you can use your towel straight away when getting changed again. Locker keys are similar to watches in how they are put on. Why not have a practice in the house as to how to do this? Or ask someone to help if you get stuck. On entering the swimming pool, all swimmers are asked to have an initial shower for health and hygiene reasons. During the initial lesson, young people are asked to complete a number of different activities, including how to enter and exit water safely and how to complete some water confidence activities. This may include putting your head under the water, or floating on your front or back. Those with little or no experience may be asked to complete activities next to the wall. This helps ensure safety for all pupils. As the weeks progress, Pupils may be asked to do different activities, which helps develop and strengthen their water confidence. For those that have some experience, they will be given the opportunity to show this. This may include front crawl, backstroke, or breaststroke over different distances. After the lesson, young people are given the opportunity to have a final shower. After which, they should find their locker and cubicle and get changed back into their uniform, ready to return to school. <laughs>